Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, June the 29th, 2021, and this is episode 3,576. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Hold Your Peace. Stay tuned. I love the story of Jesus stilling the the stormy seas in the Sea of Galilee when he stood up and he said, peace, (laughs) and the waves calmed and the wind ceased. There's an amazing story. You know this story, right? The children of Israel crossing the Red Sea, Moses delivering them out of Egyptian bondage, but they came to a, a rock in a hard place where Pharaoh's army was behind them. The Red Sea was before them. Let me pick up the story for you in the book of Exodus chapter 14, beginning in verse 10. <laughs> See if you can identify with this. And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted their eyes and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. So they were very afraid, and the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. Then they said to Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, have you taken us away to die in the wilderness? Why have you so dealt with us to bring us up out of Egypt? Is this not the word that we told you in Egypt, saying, Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians, for it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than it would be to die in the in the wilderness? Now, how would you like to be the leader of that group, right? But in verse 13, Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. The Israelites were in a tight spot. In front of them was the barrier of the Red Sea. Behind them was the advancing Egyptian army. They were caught in a trap and nowhere to go, and they were panicking. Do you ever feel that way? Do you feel like you're caught in a trap? Are you panicking? What have you done to us to bring us out of Egypt? They cried to the Lord. It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. These were the very people who had witnessed firsthand the power and protection of God in their escape. The same people who were experiencing his presence and provision on a daily basis in their journey to the promised land. Yet, with every advancing step of the Egyptian army, their faith and trust in God's plans and promises crumbled from lips that once praised him. Now come accusations and blame. How quickly the tide can turn. And yet, don't we do the same? Come on now. When we face circumstances in our lives that seem hopeless, hardship, suffering, pain, when we're called to fight uphill battles with insurmountable odds, We respond with panic. And panic erodes our trust. It weakens our defenses. Panic that leads us to lash out in fear against those that love us the most and doubt the truth of what we know, who God is, and what he's already done in our lives. Panic that causes us to turn from him and search for another way, an easier road, than the one he has called us to walk. Mm. How, do we, how do we handle that? We fight the storm with peace. Listen, instead of running, and blaming, accusing, we're called to stand up and fight our storm with peace. 
peace in the midst of the storm, calm in the face of absolute chaos. That's the response that God is calling us to. When fear creeps in and panic prevails, we can trust God and declare with confidence, the Lord is with me. I will not fear. What can mortals do to me? Psalm 118.6. And there, in the midst of our storm, we can find peace. Father, help us today to hold our peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Have a wonderful and peaceful day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.